Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how I use my micromotor in Leathercraft. I'm constantly scouring the internet looking for tips and tricks from fellow leather crafters that could up my game. And I found through searching that I don't think many people use micromotors or flex shafts or whatever rotary tool is your preference in leather craft as much as I do so I thought I'd make a video on it maybe you learn something maybe you have some actually the purpose of this video isn't even to educate uh, I actually am seeking some advice but I'll explain that at the end of the video but to start off my rotary tool of choice is this it is a micromotor anyone who is familiar with Fordham or flex shafts would understand the basic principle but it's not a flex shaft it doesn't use the heavy flex shaft cable it uses just a thin wire as a matter of fact Fordham makes a version of the micromotor like this but it's significantly more expensive I think it's about 500 bucks this one I got for a hundred dollars on Amazon so 90 percent of the time I have it connected to my bench with a burnishing wheel on it the machine is hooked up to a pedal, the machine comes with the pedal. So I use it mostly for burnishing, so if I have a project, I want to burnish the edges, I'll just step on the pedal and just, you know, burnish the edge. So just for that alone, I find the micromotor is incredibly useful. If I want to sand the edges, or if I have two, oh, dropped it. If I have two pieces of leather that are fused together, and I want to make it seamless where you can't see the, the join, I'll put a sanding disc on here, sand the edges, and then burnish them, and it creates an invisible seam. So that's my micromotor, but I'm experimenting with a new use for it that I haven't seen anyone else um, use it for, so I wanted to make a video on that. The micromotor comes, here, let me take the micromotor out to show you. The micromotor comes with additional hand pieces. For those of you that aren't familiar with micromotors, it's basically a motor connected to a light wire that you can use like a, like a pen. So it's much lighter than a traditional flex shaft or Dremel, which is what attracted me to this tool over, over the, the alternatives. But another benefit of these is that they have interchangeable tips. So the machine comes with these two tips here. They're both rotary tips. This one would be like a Dremel and then this one is a right angle a right angle um, tool. So you would put your bit in here if you wanted to grind your edges it's basically at a right angle. I use both of them I'd say equally but the reason for this video is I wanted to speak about this tip. This one you have to buy separately. The machine comes with these two but this one you buy separately. It's a reciprocating handpiece, so instead of spinning, it will go in and out. And the reason why I got this is because I want to start getting into leather tooling. But because I have a background in illustration, I wanted to find a setup where I could tool leather that would feel more like drawing, as opposed to hammering. So that's why I got this. And it seems, I just started experimenting with it, but it seems like it might work. Again, I don't have any background in leather tooling, per se, so I'm not quite sure the best way to approach this. So I made two tips so far. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a round, polished, blunt tip. So to give you an idea how it would work, let me show you. The result seems, I don't know if you can see that, the result seems pretty good. It's, the, the, it's a shiny finish, nice and smooth. And I made another tip. Let me show you what that one looks like. It's basically the same thing. Oh, by the way, you change these tips out just by unscrewing here, and they pull right out. So this tip 
is basically the same thing, uh, only it's it comes to a sharper point. So I would imagine I would use this for smaller detail. So that's the result from that tip. Um, another thing that I that I noticed just by I mean, I've only been playing with this for like 10 minutes, is that it could also be used for shading, so I'm gonna draw a quick circle here. And then if you just do it lighter, you can get a shaded effect on there. So the reason why I'm making this video is I'm kind of hoping for some feedback from the community in terms of, I'm not really sure what shaped tips I'm supposed to be um, putting on here. Like I said, I don't have a background in leather tooling, so if you guys have any suggestions, if you think that um, this is a feasible option for tooling leather, why you think it's it might not be, and any suggestions for the shape of the tips that I'm supposed to be putting on here would be really, um, really great because I'd really like to I'd really like this to work as a solution. It just, it just feels more, more natural to me to use something like this over a hammer. Anyway guys, that's my, um, my, my suggestion or my, my new find. I don't know if it's going to work for you guys. If you, if you use a micromotor for leather work, I'd really love to hear about it. Alright, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I could start making real edited content. If you're into leather work and remaking, I think you'd like the channel anyway. I'm a product development engineer, so some of the projects that I work on at work are pretty pretty awesome. But if I don't have like a decent base of, of subscribers, I don't think YouTube is gonna really share my videos. So I've I've made a personal goal of a thousand subscribers before I start investing like real time into creating like real content. Alright guys, take care. Thanks for watching.